And one of the most disappointing teams, and to be honest, they pretty much been a disappointment all year. And that, of course, is the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, but there are degrees of disappointment. <laughs> and uh, when they were 30 and 13 under rookie head coach Adrian Griffin, that was disappointing. And so they fired him and uh, decided to hire Doc Rivers, one of the 15 greatest coaches ever, officially. And under Doc, it has gone to disappointing, from disappointing to downright, what's the word, Rob? Uh, uh, disappointing to... Terrible, uh, worse than disappointing. Horrifying, uh, a mess, nightmarish. Nightmarish might be good. Yeah, they are 17 and 19 under Doc. They fell from the second seed to the third seed. And the worst thing, and this obviously had nothing to do with Doc, but Giannis Antetokounmpo, their best player, is out with a calf strain. Now, he may be back for the playoffs. There's a fear right now that he might miss game one. Um, but who knows? He may play or he may miss more than game one. So we, we just have to wait and see how he heals. But, Rob, they play the Indiana Pacers, who are the sixth seed. But Indiana won 47 games and Milwaukee won 49. So there wasn't much of a difference between those teams' records. And in head-to-head -head play, Indiana owned them. Beat them four out of five games this year, Rob. And... Look, I think there if if Giannis misses the first two games, I think Indiana's going to win. And I'm gonna be honest. I think Indiana probably beats them anyway. I think Indiana's gonna win. And if that's the case, I I I, I think Indiana's speed, Rob, when they've played Milwaukee. And that was a different Bucks team, and it was somewhat of a different Pacers team. But their speed was just too much for the Bucs. The one thing about the Bucs, or one of the things that is a problem for them, is they're big, yes, which is great, but they're slow as molasses. And then their smaller guys on the wings aren't really incredibly athletic as far as defenders and stuff. Dame, obviously, very athletic, but not a great defender, not not really even a good defender. Uh, Pat Connaughton, not going to wow you. Malik Beasley, okay. Chris Middleton, Rob, he's de dealt with a ton of injuries, including this season. So faster teams give them problems. And that's why I think Indiana will win this series. And if it does happen, because even if Giannis plays, is he going to be hampered? Last year he played... Well, four of the or three of the five games against Miami, but he was kind of hampered even when he played. He missed two of them, and they went down. So, where are you at on the series, Rob? And if it if they do lose, what do you think will happen or should happen? We're probably better better saying should happen in Milwaukee. I, I don't think anything's going to happen um, if they lose and when they lose. I told you before. I think their season is over. So you think they lose into Indiana as well? Yeah, I think they're going to lose anyway, but they'll have a built-in excuse with right. Giannis, Chris. And that and that's just fair, unfair, whatever you want to call it. That's going to be – it is hard. And that, I think that, to be honest, I mean, they haven't looked good under Doc. Because here's the question, right? I mean, and I, I – my answer is a resounding no. Even if Giannis were healthy and they lost, Rob, I don't think you could fire Doc Rivers. You can't. I, I agree you're with you. are already that. paying. He's the third coach you're paying already. And, you know? And and you look like, you know what? If that happens, Chris, if I'm the owner, I need to fire the general manager. You right. Made, I'm serious. You came to me with this, with this idea, and I signed off on it, but you run the team. Yep. Why, are we, why did we hire Doc Rivers? And right. now here we are. 
I agree. And, with and you. you want him out. If, if he doc goes, so do you. You've chosen like right. three. You missed on Adrian Griffin, uh, apparently. You missed on Doc. You know, you're, you're right, Rob. It'd be like, what, what are we doing here? What, right. Now, I'm going to let you choose a third guy? I'm going to let you pick another <laughs> guy so that we I have to pay him. I'll be on the right. hook for that? Right. No. So, right. I, so I don't see that happening. And they do have the Giannis, Chris, no matter what, how and he plays. it is plays, a legitimate experience. It is. Like, you, you really expected them to win without Giannis, really? Uh, no. And uh, so I think that no matter what, Chris, they're not going to clean house. They're not going to do anything crazy. They have to run it back and say, Doc, give me more time. I'll have a training camp with this guy. And I'm not saying they're not going to make any changes, but nothing drastic. Damian Lillard, his first year here, him trying to get used to Giannis, it wasn't as smooth as maybe people thought it was going to be originally. You remember when it was when the trade came about? Oh, my God, that's right. perfect, Giannis. That's just what he needs. It he got did that, feel, right? People felt, including me, that it was a perfect fit. Perfect fit. Yep. And, and they people, thought so, too. People loved it. They thought, oh, my God, they're going to yep. make a run because they got everything you need. But, no, it hasn't turned out that way. And sometimes it takes a while, Chris. Sometimes. Sometimes it's automatic. I mean, immediate, like a connection or chemistry. Sometimes it takes a little time to build. They got to give it another year. They got to give it another shot. Uh before they pull the plug on it. It's just it just seems like there's too much change and you can't keep doing that and expecting things to work. Well, I, I agree with you on the doc situation. Um he, like it or not, Giannis is a legitimate explanation if they go out early. It just is. Um so Doc should not get fired. And Rob, you and I, we didn't think they should have hired him in the first place. So it's not like I'm. we're saying he's the guy, he's such a great coach that you got to keep him. But you do have to be fair. I mean, you you should be fair. I, I, maybe you don't have to. They, they, some people would say they weren't fair to Adrian Griffin. Um, but with the fact that you're paying but Boot and Holzer still, you're paying Adrian Griffin, you're paying Doc, you, you got to keep him. Um, Otherwise, though, Rod, and I, I think you obviously keep Giannis and Dame. Like you said, you give them another year to work together. But I think everyone else, Rob, could be fair game. Everyone, and I'm not saying you, you're you definitely trading, say, a Brooke Lopez or a Bobby Portis. And I love Bobby Portis. You know, I, I he these are some of these guys, guys I'd want to keep. But... I would I would be open to trading anyone else. Anyone else. And I would definitely try to make moves. As I said, Rob, I think they have to get faster. They have to get better defensively on the perimeter. Um, and so yeah, I, I think I think big changes, I mean, as big as it could be without trading one of your two stars, should be in order. Because Rob, here's the thing with the Bucks. And we know Drew Holiday was there and, you know, a few other players. But Giannis, Middleton, Lopez, Portis, I mean, these are mainstays there. And in their tenure, Rob, look, yes, they won the championship, but they've also had some very disappointing postseasons, right? I mean, very. And so I would, that's why I would be looking like, man, we, we got to make some changes. You know, they've gone out in the first round last year. They've gone out in the first round a few years before that. Second round. I mean, it, they thankfully for them, they won the finals in there. But they've had several postseasons where you just felt like they underachieved. And some of it's got to be on Giannis too, Rob. But obviously, I'm not trading him. It'd be interesting if he, what he, you know, would he ask out, Rob? You know, he's got the contract extension he signed. It would be but. hard for him to ask out Chris when they've done everything he asked. I mean, what 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 didn't they do? You didn't you didn't want Adrian, right? Right? He had to sign off on that, so they yep. did that for him. Yep. They got you Damian Lillard. You, yep. you wanted him, didn't you? Sign the extension after that. Like thinking, okay, this is great. Exactly. So what 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 in the world would you be asking out for? And then you're hurt this year. Like, really? 
Well, it's not a great look, but look, was it a great look for Kevin Durant? No, I Kyrie, know. I, you know I, what I mean? got you. Anthony I, Davis in New Orleans. I mean, this, that, now Giannis does seem different, Rob. Yep. Remember, he stayed in Milwaukee when everybody yep. wanted him to go. Yep. So, so but I agree with that. He's different. He, he's also of that ilk, though, as far as quality of player, Rob. I mean, he's got the one, to some degree, you're a made man. Um. But he's so good, Rob, that I there's a feeling like, eh, it's not enough. And again, like I said, the one ring made man, you know what I mean? That's, you're legit. But he's such a good player that it feels like it would be a little bit, it's a, it, I, I'm just going to say it. It would be a disappointment if he only wins one ring throughout his career, Rob. And I'm not saying he should leave Milwaukee. I'm just saying, does that pressure, does that commentary, right? Like if Jokic wins it this year, Rob, and maybe Embiid wins it the following, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, what's up with Giannis? Why can't he can't, you know what I mean? Like people will almost not forget that ring, but you know, it'll be like, what have you done for me lately? Well, that's and always so, the case, but we, yeah. but we do... He will get. He's a made man. He's a that's, made man because legit. you know that staying in Milwaukee, Chris, yep. and and getting it done no matter what, either by hook or by crook, it doesn't matter. They got it done and they won a championship. And and you remember, even the way he did it, but the bug getting rid of the bugaboo of the free throws. And you remember that that's how he got it won. They fouled him and yep. he made the free throws and beat him, and was nearly perfect. So I, I think he's a made man. But but yeah, after a while all that goes out the window. Yeah, right? That's, I mean, in the moment, it's like, dude, you you know, Jokic is winning and Embiid is winning. And, and Embiid obviously is not even close to Giannis at this point. You know, he's fortunately for him, Rob, he's kind of got, you know, he's had these excuses. So we haven't really focused on his poor play, relatively speaking. In the playoffs, right? It was Ben Simmons. Oh, yeah, Ben, man. Ben messed it up. Uh, it was James Harden. Yeah, Harden disappeared, of course. He, you know. Oh, Doc, what do you expect? Doc, you know. So a lot MB has escaped a lot of criticism, and he's also been banged up in a lot of these off seasons or post seasons. And so he's kind of had that excuse. But yeah, I mean, when you're a certain caliber of player. You're in, you're winning MVPs, Rob. It's like we expect a ring, or or more than one ring. So he and it's a it's a credit to him. It's a compliment that he's in that class. But yeah, we expect, especially when we gave you Dame Lillard, and then Dame, Rob. Right? He's been I mean, dis- he's been disappointing, and I'm not at Chris. I, I, he I, hadn't been bad, but no, he hadn't, no. hadn't lit, he hadn't been top seventy five. <laughs> no, no. You thought you know? that 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 his addition to Giannis would have been something special to watch. Yep. And it didn't turn out that way. Not yet. I'm not saying yep. it's over right. or it can't get there, but not yet. This season has not been, I think, what most people thought. Well, and Rob, Dame, and he's going to have to eat. He's going to have to wear this if they go out early, even without y- Giannis. You know, even if Giannis misses – some of the series, and they go out early. Dame's going to have to wear this. He has had the luxury of being up there in Portland with a decent team, pretty good team, and no expectations. So you can put up your 30, you can put up your 27, get to the playoffs, maybe to the second round. You got to the conference finals once, I believe, got swept. You can do all that and, and escape the criticism. And everybody puts it on the organization, the teammates. But now we're saying, hey, you got the t- you got Giannis. You've got a team that already won a championship. So you have to deliver. And so he's going to have to wear it if he doesn't deliver, Rob.